Okay. So, today, I'm going to start out at a, um, start out at a place that uh, I parked a couple of years ago to go check out and hadn't, uh, hadn't gotten to. And it looks like a place where the, I don't think they were mining for gold. Although it is gold country in general uh, in these parts, so it could have been. I think they were looking for crystals, but uh, there's so many coyote holes pockmarked through this this uh, set of hills here that I'm going to be going to. That it's always had my curiosity, so I figured I'd drive out and poke around the wash and see if I see anything in the wash and then maybe uh, maybe hike up to one of the coyote holes and take a look in there as well so anyways come along and see what we find all right see you so welcome to another beautiful morning in uh, Arizona how's that for a lovely view around here nice huh so I'll get out here and poke around I think uh, I was thinking it was probably crystals that they were hunting in these hills but I am seeing just loads and loads of quartz so most likely it was uh, uh, traces of gold that they were chasing and petering out because there is no real mine dumps there's just there's just uh, little piles from uh, the coyote holes that they dug. So um, I'm sure there's a lot of shooting that goes in this area. So I don't think a metal detector is going to have much luck in, out here. I think I'd spend all day just finding uh, bullets. But I'll get down in the wash here and play around and see what we see. So. Anyways, we'll see what we find. Hey there, I'm back. So, the washes through here are so vegetated that uh, they're being difficult to um, poke around in. <laughs> Easy to get poked in, because there's lots of spiky things, but uh, hard to poke around in, so. But uh, coming in, I saw some posts, and I don't know if they're claim marker posts or property marker posts. Sometimes people sell them property, they, uh, they'll just put the same similar markers as claim markers. So um, I'll get up and take, I haven't seen any markers this direction. I can see one in the saddle up in there in the distance. I'm going to wander up that way. Oh, there's a helicopter. I'm going to wander up that way because I think I see also one of the coyote holes that I was looking for. They were easy to see on the sap picks, but uh, a little more difficult to see uh, actually when you're up here. So, Plus it'll get me higher up and I might be able to spot coyote holes from there. So I'm going to wander up. I may even wander up to this high point up here and that'll give me a look in, in every direction and decide what I want to do from there. But uh, anyways another view of the Arizona desert so anyways see ya okay so I'm up in the up in the saddle that I was pointing to so down I can keep from dropping my metal detector down in this area there's a coyote hole, and then right about there, there's a coyote hole, and certainly right there, there's a coyote hole. And again, the one, the largest one I've seen is right down in there that I'm going to go back over to. So I'm going to wander over to this coyote hole and and check that post and see if there's anything with that one. I don't think there's any markers or any markation. So we'll just assume that they're uh, they're active claims since I didn't do my research. I didn't expect to, didn't expect to be over here on this trip. It's 
a place I've been wanting to come for a couple of years and poke around just because I saw the holes in the uh, satellite pics. But uh, um, the area I was going to focus on on this trip, I just can't get to because of all the rain and the mud, etc. So it came turned into a eh, hike around and see what you find kind of kind of trip. So, anyways, let's wander over there. All right. See ya. Okay. So, cross the saddle, and here's this here's this coyote hole here. <clears throat> Looks like right in here. It's kind of hard to see. Some kind of contact zone. And again, because I didn't do my research, this is shallow, so I'm going to go in it. It's not a it's not a backfilled mine shaft that I have to worry about collapsing under my feet. Okay, so it looks like that was probably the contact zone right there that they were focused on. It's interesting. Looks like it's heavily heavy micas, but it's certainly some kind of hydrothermal you can see it on both sides so, could have been this light stuff but I think it's this dark stuff right here that they were working there's actually a it's another contact zone here could have been any of this It's interesting that they uh, that they found it interesting enough to uh, hike up a hill and punch a hole. Sorry, <laughs> pointing pointing into nowhere, I guess. But uh, not interesting enough to continue with it. So, yeah, I'll wander off to the next one and see if it looks similar. Nothing else, it's making for a, an interesting hike, so, anyways, climb back out of here. So, still haven't seen anybody come down the road, I'm the only person here. Kind of surprises me. So, ah, anyways, see you in a bit. Well, just outside of the coyote hole, maybe 30 feet, is this little guy. See lots of mineralization, lots of vuggy, vugginess going there. So, I don't think that's what they were chasing, but uh, certainly signs that there was lots of mineralized, there's mineralized quartz up in here. So, anyways, thought I'd show you that. So, let's wander on. Check this out. I keep them falling down the hill. This here is old school. <laughs> Never seen it done with slate, but that right there is. Show it too well in the sun there, that angle. But there's a old style claim marker. Looks like some of it fell off. Had it stacked higher up, it's that piece was on it as well. <laughs> so once again, I mean that's old old claim marker marker like that wouldn't um, wouldn't make me over concerned about you know poking around and seeing what's seeing what's here. Um, but the more modern ones tell me that it's probably, there's probably current claims, so there's a, I think there's a quartz or a, I'm not sure, so we've got a dike right over there. I might wander over there as well. I've got to get across this sharp gully, which is just about a slot canyon. That, uh, they were digging right here too. 
So, anyways, I think I'm going to have to go upstream, find a better place to cross, working my way back over. But I thought I'd, I thought I'd show you that if you're out, at least in the western U.S., and see something like that. Chances are it's an old school, uh, old school claim marker. So, anyways, see you then. Okay. Made it over to the other Coyote Hall. And there is, uh, you can probably see right here, there's some quartz vein here. It kind of runs down and it kind of picks up on the other side a little bit. Why this one as opposed to other ones? Obviously, they must have been seeing some color in it, is all I can think. Either that or back in the day. <laughs> Somebody punched a bunch of these holes and sold them off as mining claims to suckers, you know. That kind of stuff happened. So, uh, interesting. So, I think I'm going to pick up on the ridge here and choose my route out. I think I'm going to have to drop into the valley here with the quickest, the easiest way or down into this, what do you want to call it? And, uh, Go downstream till I hit the road. It crosses. There's a little trail, the Jeep trail that crosses. That might be the that might be the quickest and easiest way to go. So not seeing any other signs of diggings over this way. Looks like if I right down that that little ridge line there, I'll catch that dirt road, which will catch me back over to that dirt road. Unless I, oh, I can go down the wash from there. So, anyways, it's still a lovely day. Looks like it's going to get warm out today. For, winter <laughs> it's gonna be in the 70s uh, I can tell that but uh, so anyways at some point I'll fire it back up we'll see you there so heading out from here I'm gonna go to another spot um, a lot of my videos that I'll be posting you won't see a lot of gold in them. Uh, what you'll see <laughs> you'll see us a lot of prospecting what I tend to do is go in areas that um, aren't as well known, and uh, but to me that's true prospecting. If you're just going up where there's club claims or you've purchased a claim, you know, all well and good, I've done it, it's fun, um, but that's not prospecting, that's just recreational mining. And I do enjoy prospecting. So I get out in areas that I don't know much about. And I try to do some basic research. I know I'm in general gold country. But it doesn't mean that I'm going to find gold or I'm going to find much. And um, so having said that, I am kind of in the mood just to see a little gold. So um, I'm thinking about going to a spot that I know that if I get in there and scrape around, I'll... I'll get some I'll get some flakes of gold and scratch that inch so chances are that's where I'm heading so I'll probably see you there Bye. okay so here I am in this little this little drainage here and uh, I've pulled out some nice color out here nothing big but uh, stuff you can pick up with your fingers yeah, and uh, so I'm going to get here and scratch around and see what I find today. All right, we'll see ya. All right, well, <clears throat> I get the feeling somebody got wise to this little wash. Because <laughs> I used to be able to come down here and pull out all kinds of color. And it's not happening today, so I think somebody else has figured it out. But I am getting a little color. I don't know if it can be seen there in a the pan. Here, off to the right, I think I've got it centered. So I'm, I'm seeing little color 
as long as I uh, as long as I dig into the edge of the bank, but I don't want to dig too far. Um, I don't know Arizona's rules uh, anymore, and so I'm right at the edge. So I'm gonna try to find a different spot and stay right in the channel. So I mean, it's still on bedrock, but yeah, don't need anybody on my case. So. Anyways, I'll find another spot down in here to poke around. All right. Hey, hey, hey. hey. So, oops. Oh, there he is. So, get to turn around, right? I'm facing the wrong direction. So, I think you can see that one. There he is. Getting better. I'm having to. I'm having to dig into a hole. I think uh, everybody that whoever got up here after me was doing what I was doing, which was cleaning off the real shallow stuff. So I decided, well, I guess it's time to dig a hole. So got off to a side to where there's a little dip, and I'm digging down. So we get to the bottom of it, and hopefully there's uh, more of those. All right. See ya. Nothing big yet, but it's starting to get interesting. Can see that? Let's see if we can get something we can pick out with our fingers. Well, this is this is more of what I've been looking for. I shall zoom in. Not too bad. I'll stick my thumb next to it. So. He's a picker. He's not a, I don't know if I'd quite call him a nugget, but you can pick him up <laughs> pretty easy. So, uh, anyways, if I find anything bigger, I'll do my Steve Irwin impression, but not on him. So, we'll see if I can come up with that. <laughs> see ya. I'm back. So, I still want to do some actual prospecting today rather than just pick around a wash I know about. So I'm not going to spend the rest of the day here. It's, it's already getting in the afternoon. So, uh, but at least I'll show you what I, what the take was. So, again, maybe I'll stick my thumb down there. You get an idea. You know, it's color. It was fun, but uh, I want to actually explore. So, at least we uh, scratched that itch. So, anyways. Hope you're enjoying coming along with me, and uh, we'll see you up the hill. Well, if the moon had foliage, <clears throat> kind of imagine this is what it would look like. <laughs> Interesting canyon. So I'm going to work my way up through there. It shut off on me earlier down there. I didn't see any color. So, and I'm not... Uh, too hopeful up here, but we'll poke around a little bit, enjoy the hike. So, anyways, we'll see it. Well, I didn't find uh, I didn't find anything other than some very small, possibly citrine and maybe some garnet, but not even big enough to keep. Um, so I'm gonna head back down, but I thought I'd show you that. Bobcat is what I'm thinking. So, anyways, it was a fun day. I do have a sample from another location to uh, pan, so I think I'll get back down by the vehicle and stop at the creek while it's still flowing because it's petering out and get that thing panned out. So. If I see anything, I'll show it to you. All right. <laughs>